Only when Christ is formed in us will the mystery of Christmas be fulfilled in us. Words from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 526. In our preparation to celebrate the birth of our Savior, we remember the generations of humanity who preceded. They realized the need to be united to God and tried to gain it through righteous living, generous sacrifices, bold proclamations, repentance, and in other ways. None of these efforts of humans could complete the unity with God, especially because of the divide caused by sin. But these efforts are not discounted. It was the power of the Holy Spirit, together with the cooperation of humanity, that is, of the Virgin Mary, that formed Jesus Christ in human history, bringing divinity and humanity into a single person. Divine grace continues to be available to form Jesus Christ in the life of each person and in the world at large. As we enter 2011, we, the Eparchy of Parma and each parish therein, need to take stock of how we are cooperating with this grace. Are we conformed to Christ? It's time to review how to improve on what we did in 2010. We, the Byzantine Catholic Church, have been given treasures, mostly non-financial. If we were called to give an accounting, what would we say? We invested or we buried? Are we cooperating with Christ so that salvation reaches every person? Or are we focused on our own survival? Or worse yet, have we given up? Our 2011 schedule of planned activities will answer that. Are we conforming to Christ by bettering our participation in liturgy and worship and prayer? God always does his part perfectly. We can always do better. Are we conformed to Christ in our proclamation of the message of hope to the world? God has given us the word and asks us to put it into words and actions. Our special focus on marriage and love and life in the divine plan is one way of collaboration. We are concerned about protecting the institution of marriage and providing for those who are called to marriage. We also look to marriage to help us understand our common relationship with Christ. It is not the only way to stay focused on Christ, but it is one way. The mystery of God become man is an invitation. God took on our image and likeness so that we may live in the image and likeness of God in which we were created and the perfection of which we are directed. A new year provides a renewed opportunity to participate in God's plan. Conforming our plans to the divine plan will bring us love and life.